have a very special job for you to do. Yes, my lord, what is it? I have just prepared us a feast after our hunt earlier. Ah, excellent news. As you know, the forebearer axe has been handed down within my family for generation to generation. My ancestors regard this as the highest honor you can receive when you are finally awarded with it. Yes, master. The forebearer needs no introductions to me. Its legend is known throughout our lands and it will help you forge a new path in this world. Exactly, Huntress. You understand our people's folklore better than anyone. So, it is with you, and only you, that I trust you to take care of the forebearer. And by take care of, I mean polish. Yes, my lord. Anything to help our cause. I love hearing stories of our homeland. I must admit, as fearless as I am, I have been feeling homesick lately. I would love to see our home once again, or to even see some of our people. Don't worry, Huntress. We will see our glorious home again someday. But for now, we have been sent here to this land, and our task is not yet finished. The chances of seeing any of our people on this island will be very slim, as we were the only two to make the long journey here. <laughs> ah, yes. This will do, won't it? Just a nice little fort in the middle of a forest. Almost reminds me of home. <laughs> Helena, where are you? Helena! Uh, what is it now? Do you talk to everyone in your life like this, or is it just me? Ah, come on now, Helena. You know how cranky I get when I don't get my 14 hours of sleep a day. I'm like the great ferocious bear hibernating in complete solitude until the time is right to hunt. Hunting and sleeping. Ah, what a life. Ugh, you sure do smell like you've been hibernating. Such a long journey and for what? This place seems very quiet and deserted. Why have you dragged us here? Ah, see, that's the big secret. The mighty Helena. She who strikes fear into the hearts of men doesn't he have a clue why we're here. <laughs> Hilarious. Ah, always so dramatic. Straight to violence. When the timing is right, Helena, you will know why we're here. But for now, what can you tell me about this place? Well, I haven't had long to explore much, but this place has many villages. Some small and some large, and they are rife with riches. Nothing like back home, but it looks like this place is right for the taking. Oh, now, that is music to my hairy ears. Do you have a map of these lands, or do you just know the names of the towns? We need to pick out a place to pillage first. Pillage? Already? Are you crazy? We've just got here. Let us establish ourselves first, and then we can pillage. We don't even know what resistance we'll encounter. <laughs> oh, Helena, you really do crack me up. I think you're forgetting that I'm a god here, and you're the demigoddess. All right, now. Let's find a town to destroy. So, uh, this place is pretty boring when there's no crime going on. You got anything, Carbide? Uh, nope. I've checked everything. Police scatters, military scatters, nada. We're currently witnessing a huge drought in evil activity. Ugh, what are we gonna do? Well, maybe you could commit a crime like rob a bank or something, and then at least I'd have something to do. Oh yeah, sure. Imagine how that would look like. The leader of the Superstar Danger Team causing all sorts of trouble and committing crimes. That wouldn't fly too well. Yes! Finally! What is it, Wick? Hmm... I've reprogrammed the computer to warn us when there are any big ruptures in the cracks in the skies. Wow, looks like a big one. As big as the one Ragnarok and Huntress came through. We should check it out. Seems to be in Wailing Woods. It's a good place to start, but we have to be careful. 
You've seen how powerful Ragnarok is. Helena, what is the name of this village? It looks perfect for us to take over. We will burn their lands, steal their gold, and fight off every warrior they can throw at us. <laughs> oh, I just got butterflies in my stomach. I love a good pillage. Then after, we feast. Ugh, you're such a simple man. Fight and eat and sleep. Is that all you think of? There is more to life than just that. And I hope you didn't bring us here just to do exactly what we do back home, did you? Of course not! What I have planned is something that will be spoken about for years to come. But while we're here, we're better off following our natural instincts and pillaging. Now, what's the name of this place? This place is called Tomato Town. Tomato is a fruit native of this land, but they treat it as a vegetable. There will be many warriors here, I reckon, so that should satisfy your current thirst for blood. Ooh! Tomatoes! They sound delicious! We shall add them to the menu of our giant feast we have after we burn this place to the ground. Ugh, all you ever do is think about your stomach. Okay, let's move. Sir, I have polished your axe and left it on the ship. Is there anything else I can do for you? Very good, Huntress. Ah, yes, there is. I've been having this strange feeling all day, like a changing of the winds. I don't know how to explain it. Yes, my lord. I feel it too. I have felt it all morning. Something's not right. Ever since this morning when we spoke of our homeland, I haven't felt good. Something has happened. I don't know what it is, but something or someone has arrived on this island. Whether they are friend or foe is yet to be determined. Do you think we have been followed, my liege? Is that even possible? No, I doubt that is what has happened. I believe we are both just missing home a little. We have been speaking about that non-stop. Maybe it's all in our heads. Yes. Maybe we should do something to take our minds off it. Maybe another hunt? <sighs> another hunt? Look, I know your name is Huntress, but this is just getting ridiculous. <laughs> Maybe another hunt will do us some good, though. Let us go to the woods. Scanning for signs of life? Hmm. Nope, nothing. We're the only ones here now, Wick. Hmm. Well, whoever or whatever was here can't have gone too far. Have a quick look around for any time cracks. Any clues at all? I'm gonna be honest, Wick. It doesn't look like we're gonna find anything. They may have landed here, but I don't know if they're planning to make camp here. What should we do? For once, I don't know. Usually, when we arrive at the scene, the place is full of clues. I can't see anything. No footsteps, no traces of life. The computer could be wrong. <laughs> Carbide. Uh, was that you? What? No way! Whoever smelled it dealt it, Wick. It was definitely you. Oh, okay. look, I'm not getting dragged into this. <laughs> it really is a foul stench. The smell is stronger over this way towards Tomato Town. Wick, can you smell that too? It smells like a fire burning too. Wow, mixed in with that other smell is extremely potent. Maybe someone has stink bombs over here. Whoa, look. Tomato Town has been pretty badly beaten up. What's going on here? Look, who are those two players? I've never seen them before.
Hey! Hey, you two! Stop right there! We need to ask you a few questions. Ah! Well, well, well. Looks like we have a few more peasants coming to protect their home from being destroyed. Well, too late for that, laddies. <gasps> Ooh! They must admit, you two look a lot different from the other ones. My name is John Wick. We heard there was a disturbance here, so we came to check it out, and a foul smell led us here. I can tell now that that smell was actually, uh, coming from you. Where are you from? We are not from this island, and my personal hygiene is none of your business, pretty boy. I have traveled across the world to get here, and nobody is gonna get in the way of me having some fun. <laughs> Carbide, I think these two come from the same place Ragnarok does. We have to be very careful. They don't seem to be the talking type. This could get messy very quickly. Ugh, are you two quite done over there? We would like to get back to pillaging. If you plan on delaying us anymore, I will have no choice but to put your head on a spike. Nobody threatens me or my teammates like that. Looks like you've got yourself a fight. I'm getting too old for this. Ugh, get up, you big oaf, and fight back! Helena, I'm over 5,000 years old. Cut me some slack. I think I've broken me back again. That's the sixth time this week. I must commend you two. You put up quite a fight, but now it's time to feast. Carbide, I think we need to talk to Ragnarok. Find out where he is. I have a bad feeling he might know this new guy. Aldris, I thought we were coming hunting to distract us, but this place is empty. And that strange feeling I had earlier is getting even stronger. Yes, my lord. I feel it too. Like a new presence. As if a new soul has come onto the map. I fear we were not imagining things. Keep your wits about you, Huntress. These parts of the forest may not be safe. I haven't felt this presence in a long time. And that stench. So foul. And yet so familiar. I see you still have it, nephew. Magnus! I should have known it was you, uncle. How did you get here? Did you follow me from home? Ah, of course I did, you little squirt. You hardly thought I was gonna let you sneak off here and have all the fun now, did you? Myself and Helena arrived here today. Nah, well that explains a lot. I knew I felt a new presence on the island. It was only until I smelled you that I figured out it was you. Ah, come on. That's three times today people have commented on how I smell. It can't be that bad now, can it? It is one of the foulest smells ever. You need a long bath. Like, a week long. Ah, now it's good to see you too, Huntress. Looking devilishly scary as always. Well, at least now this explains why we are here. Are you really telling me you dragged us to this place just so you could annoy your nephew? Ah, what? No, of course not. I crave the adventure of it. One last hurrah, traveling around time and space, conquering lands, and well, yeah, annoying my little nephew too. Tell me, Raggy, have you pillaged this whole land yet? No, the mortals here are quite nice. Their ways are confusing, but I must admit, I like some of them. No, you're starting to go soft, Raggy. 
You sound like you're in love. <laughs> Magnus, I demand that you leave this place immediately. I am here for a greater purpose, and yet you are here to belittle me. You have one day to leave, or else. R Ragnarok? What are you doing here? Is everything okay? Hello there, Wick. So, this is where you and the Superstar Danger Team have set up camp. I must admit, it is, uh, very, how you say, cozy. Uh, thanks, Ragnarok, but I, again, I have to ask, why are you here? You've never called here before, and I had planned on coming to meet you later anyway. I need to talk to you about someone new on the island. Ah, so I see you've met my Uncle Magnus. Oh, yes, we are related. But he is quite a handful. I've come to ask you for a favor, Wick. Your uncle? Wow. No, I did not expect that. Okay, well that depends on the favor. What is it? I know how proud you are. An excellent warrior and leader. I respect you, Wick. That is why I must ask you to stay out of this. This is a family matter, and I have given Magnus the ultimatum to leave, or else. Ragnarok, I understand that family issues can be tough, but I can't have your uncle running around the island destroying places. Plus, if he is a god like you, then how can you expect me to make him leave? With the power of the Forbearer Axe, the god who holds it truly holds all the power. But only if they understand the responsibilities that come with that great power. Magnus is only having fun, for now. But he has an evil streak. The Forbearer is the only thing that truly scares him. Devastator here to bring you a message from the Noob Army. That's right, you heard me, the Noob Army. This Friday, we're planning a full map takeover. It's gonna be noobs against pros like you've never seen before. But this time, we've got our own brand new channel. So make sure to subscribe, because you're not gonna wanna miss this. Look out, pros, we're coming for you. Let's do this. Oh, oh, ow, oh, oh, I guess I built up a little bit too high there. Oh, oh, can we do that again? I don't want to look stupid. <laughs> 